The firing test of the National Long Range Air Defense Missile System Cyper was carried out. The development, the President of Defense Industry Professor Dr. Ismail Demir announced. The development of the Cyper Long Range and Multi Layer Air Defense Missile System continues with new successes. The Cyper missile, which will be included in the Cyper system, successfully completed another firing test the other day. Thus, the Cyper missile to be used in the Long Range Air Defense Missile System was shown to the public for the first time. Regarding the subject, President of the Presidency of Defense Industry Professor Dr. In a statement made by Ismail Demir, we have successfully completed one more stage in the development of our long-range and multi-layered national air defense system, Cyper. We will eliminate all threats against our Gokvatan in the strongest way with the Cyper, which we plan to include in the inventory in 2023, was stated. In the statements made by President Demir during the test firing of the Cyper missile, the following statements were made, we continue the journey of our air defense systems. In this step-by-step -step journey, we have put our systems at various levels into operation, and we are currently walking towards our goals towards Cyper in our journey towards further levels. We performed one of the tests of our Cyper journey here. Our tests continue at increasing ranges and altitudes. Hopefully, in the meantime, products will continue to come out at various distances. On the day we reach our trench target, I hope we will see that five to six types of air defense systems are operational in our country. I would like to thank all our friends who contributed. Turkey resolutely continues its breakthrough to develop its national air defense systems. So far, the Cork at very low altitude air defense artillery system and the Hisar A plus low altitude air defense missile system have been put into use by the Turkish armed forces. The acceptance activities of the Sungur Portable Air Defense Missile System and the Hisaro Plus Medium Altitude Air Defense Missile System continue. The Cyper Project, which will carry Turkey to a higher league in the field of air defense, was launched in 2018. Cyper UMBHS FS project initiated by the Presidency of Defense Industries, it is developed in cooperation with Roketsan, Aselsan, and Tubitak Sage. The test-fired missile is the Cyper Block I missile, which was developed over the Hisar RF missile. The Cyper Block I air defense missile, which is estimated to have a range of 70 plus kilometers, was developed over the Hisar RF missile. Just like the Hisar A plus and Hisar O plus missiles, the Cyper Block I air defense missile, which has a double pulse engine, has a detachable launch engine, that is, a booster. Thus, the range of the radar-guided medium-range air defense missile Hisar RF has more than doubled. During the test carried out, Cyper Block I missile, it was separated from the platform with the booster engine, the booster engine was separated from the missile during the flight with the step separation system, and the Hisar RF missile with a double pulse engine flew. Fire tests of the Cyper Block I missile will continue in 2022. The Cyper Block I missile, developed over Hisar RF, is only one of the missiles to be used in the Cyper system. Cyper is called a multi-layer air defense missile system, which will have more than one missile option, and will host more advanced missiles over time, just like in the Patriot and S-400 systems. Each Cyper air defense system battery, for Cyper missile launch system, FFS, at least two missile transport loading system, one TEIRS search radar, one fire control center, one it will have fire control radar, one fleet control center and three communication station vehicles. In the Cyper system, the early warning radar system developed by Aselsan will be used as the search radar.